the drawer interface right now. I'm going to use my um, my example here so I can follow along because um, I've only got Visual Studio on my helping laptop. So first thing we're going to go is open our toolbox. If you haven't got access to it, go to View um, Toolbox, and that will come up with it. And just click on that. We're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a bunch of labels, pretty much. Um, also, uh, you see this background here. You should have this background on your description right now. So make sure you download that. I forgot to tell you earlier. So it should be on the description of this video that you see right now. Um, hopefully, if you do want to have this background, if you, if you want to do your own thing, then that's fine. You don't need a background. It's just, I think it looks good. So, um, so and also we're going to give everything. Uh, decent names so we know what we're accessing when we're accessing stuff especially without it IntelliSense it's really difficult so um, this one we're going to call title label title uh, actually that's text so just call assault cube DLL that's so the person if it's not you knows what's going on and what the name of thing is so we do that assault cube so just call it title title dot label so it's something we have to do a lot. Oh crap, not dot. Um, just label title. Sorry. Title label. So I know it's a label and so on. So we're going to choose a size, f a size for it. So it's going to be Moyer. I found this. I don't know if you've got this in 2008, if you're using 2008. Hopefully you will. Uh, M O. There it is. I like this font. I think it looks quite good. I haven't seen it before. It should be 16 point. I can't believe I. That's right. Is that right? No, that's probably not right. Uh, what's this here? What's this font on this crap? It is 16, isn't it? Oh, damn it! It's uh, 25. It's more light. Uh, so 25, and it should be more light. So go down one light. There you go. Up to you. Fully up to you guys. You do not need to follow me on this, but your choice, I guess. Or is it? It is. Yeah point of it. So I'm gonna create a couple more labels. So uh what's the size of this one? This one is sixteen point. That was a bit confused on which one's which but so sixteen is the size of that and uh are they all uh just checking if they're all uh bold by colour font. No they're not, certainly not. Uh for some reason that's weird. So what we're going to write on this one. I'm going to say DLL status, just to let the person know that the um, DLL was injected successfully. Um, injected successfully. If you have any problems halfway through, then you can tell the person that uh, through here. That's the good thing about it. So injected successfully. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. What's the size of ours? Here. Oops. 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 Properties. Let's check out the size. So we have uh, 400. 58 by 300 and something. Let's just copy that. So size. It's great. That's that's the size we want. Um, for some reason, uh, that should be. That's more. Oh, I see. The first one was more light. I get it. And these are all just more. Uh, what a stupid name for a font. Anyways. There you go, that's what we like. So we do this, alright, put that there. As usual, you don't have to follow me, of course not. Um, so, um, that was genius, that was incredibly dumb of me to do that. So I think what we'll do is, um, we'll start off, we'll do that one, we'll copy one, and then we'll copy all the others. So we'll call this one, uh, we'll do this one, we'll do um, F F1 freeze ammo so if you're incrementing the ammo then feel free to do um you know ink ammo so remember only write this part don't write the whole thing because we're changing that next part separately that's why that's red and this is black um, this will be freeze health you know feel free to give it more appropriate names the names I gave it I know they weren't very good but um, you know just go just do what you think is right on that part so um, F3 I gotta change that one to F2 so no just call this rapid fire rapid fire 
So, I mean, we could have always involved rapid fire and noping two at once, so we could have noped this and that. I mean, you could do that. I guess that would be more appropriate, but, you know, I wanted to show you things independently. So, F2 freeze health, that seems fine. Um, this one is F4, F4, and that one is no recoil or kickback. So, no recoil or kickback. Kick, kick back. That seems fair enough. No recoil kickback. And the last one is all guns automatic. So F5 uh, automatic guns. Uh, automatic all guns. Just do that. Just follow that for fuck's sake. <sighs> God's sakes. Okay. So uh, what we've got to do now, we've got to put our um, on and offs. So let's do that. Copy and paste one of these. Just place the text inside with the word off. Uh, what we're going to do is put it there and then what we need to do to this, we're going to change it to red. Okay, it's probably what it should have done with the other one but let's just change that to red. Uh, red, there it is. Uh, well, That's what we'll have to do later on so just uh, do that. Um, change that to that. Put another off in. Just put them all in there where they belong. Looking very sexual. So just do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. So uh, that seems fine to me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our background in. Uh, yep. So just, just make sure these are lined up and stuff. I'm sure they will be. So uh, we're going to put our background in. Now I don't know where I put that image. I believe I put it somewhere else. But you should have your image quite nearby. So put it in the same folder as your solution if you can. Um, I've got mine somewhere else which uh, I'm gonna I've got it same place as this one so let me just um, as usual just put your thingy and then browse for it I'll show you I've got to grab mine first which I've got in a different location than you guys so let me just grab it um, so I've got it here import I've got images so I'm gonna copy this can I copy this uh, yeah copy that uh, and then I'm gonna go with this one and put it in the folder don't don't copy what I'm doing here as I said oh crap what am I doing oh that doesn't matter it's just text color and look for background image tick that and then um, well I've got a folder here so make sure you choose the same folder that you are using make sure you copy the thing there and this is what I did so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything I, everything looks weird pretty much so highlight everything right click properties I want to go back color just make sure make that transparent right and then we're gonna make a four color uh... four colors really dependent on different things so we're gonna go four colors these are all white pretty much so we're gonna go for white there so this looks extremely attractive to the ladies if you're watching ladies this will be very attractive to you so we're gonna go for white i believe white looks good see uh, you seen that somewhere else before I bet you have. So, um, so I'm going to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're free to tweak this, I'm just doing a quick thing to it. Just going to mess about a little bit with it, um, and that should be fine. So, that's everything. So, we're just going to give everything uh, decent names now. So, make sure everything's properly named. So, this is title dot label. Um, this I'm going to call uh, ammo dot label, not dot. I keep saying dot. Ammo label. Oops, ammo capitals label uh, so just um, just copy all this and then just change everything else so just enter that okay um, so we've got pretty much everything so we're just gonna ignore that for now I don't really care about this one now so this is our main one so we've got everything here so we're gonna give everything proper names like I said so just gonna freeze ammo so that one's good uh, if you got that still copied in, uh, just let's just paste it here uh, and that will be health label Oh, for God's sakes, bloody caps lock. Health, yeah, that seems fine. Next one will be uh, uh, rapid, it's called rapid, that's fine. Label, uh, next one is just recoil. Uh, recoil, label. And last one, just call it automatic label. Automatic label. Now we need to do something similar for these, so we're just going to go. Um, health status label so health status label all in capitals 
Of course, these aren't mandatory by any means. They're just um, a good recommendation, I think. Oh, crap. Oh, just delete that. <laughs> Properties. Uh, did I just get that wrong? What was the first one? Yeah, I can't name that same thing twice. Yeah, this should have been uh, ammo label. Ammo status. Status label. That's health status label. This one will be... Um, Copy that. Call that rapid. <clears throat> the next one will be recoil, of course. Uh, make sure they're all status so we know what we're playing with when we're in the code. Oh, damn it, I'm such an idiot. Cancel. Uh, that should have been recoil. Recoil status. And the last one is automatic status. Just call it auto status. Auto status and that's fine so we give given everything a pretty decent name um, of course you can change your forms name I'm just gonna leave as DLL interface I'm fine with that then I'm oh what the hell oh, I just had a crash there let's just restart this it's fine we're back in business uh, there we go so I'm sure you guys haven't had that crash and hopefully not because that would be really weird but uh, so going to source files main just gonna open these bad boys again uh, open the interface. Uh, oh, what the hell? Okay, guys. So it looks like I'm pretty much screwed. Um, this the interface. Every time I click on it, it'll crash. Um, so I'm gonna have to um, keep going um, by messing around and going around the. Um, well, I'm, I can't click on the interface pretty much. But anyways, we've designed a whole um, interface, so it doesn't really matter as long as it runs when we do inject it. Hopefully, it will. Otherwise, I'm gonna spend the next half an hour or so. Um, writing this for nothing, so view code. Um, that that is a simple, very simple example of how much of a piece of shit uh, Windows C plus plus CLI interface is. So sorry about the language, but that's what it's like. So comment this out because we don't want this. So hopefully yours is still working fine. You won't have a problem. Um, I know I won't be taking the Windows interface um, C plus plus anymore. Um, so first thing we got to do, I'm just going to open up my code here. So first thing we'll do is add some includes to this. So um, our includes will be up here. So include windows.h as usual. Then include um, the next one is ctime. That will be for our timer that we're going to need later on. Uh, and then include string because we're going to need to use this later as well. That should be good. So that looks good to me. Um, next thing, oh, enjoy that ambulances. Uh, never get sold. So now go down a little bit. So we got all these using namespaces. Ignore all the errors, by the way, I guess, because you will get that. Hopefully, you're using 2008. You, the errors hopefully won't come up, but we'll find out. Anyways, got to do STD, and we got to go in blind. Actually, this is the only time you get IntelliSense, pretty much. And we're going to store these nopes. So we're just declaring our globals now. And these are going to be used for our recoil. So we'll create an array of strings here. Um, so, um, and I chose to use um, strings instead of um, bytes because I use bytes on my console tray. And the reason for that is when you're writing op codes, um, maybe there's a way around this, but it seemed to do things that shouldn't be done like uh, I was getting unexpected output so when I wrote to uh, the opcodes it was writing the instruction ahead of it w without me saying anything about it so I'm using these because of that and I recommend you do the same because they seem fairly useful so make sure you got them on strings um, got that so that's 90 because it's opcodes and you'll find out later on, later on why we did this um, and then just copy that and paste it and as you probably can see the pattern now, we need to have four of these because we'll need to use them later on. Um, so hopefully I did them right. So times uh, slash times 90. Uh, actually, this should be only three. So I'll do that. Cut one of them out. So it's three, and the last one is four. Don't need the thingy now. Um, and that's it. That should be our completed string there. 
Um, I'm just going to pull an F6 on this, hopefully it'll be fine. Yeah, good. Uh, let's just stop it on any more stupid crashes halfway through. So, we're going to declare some more global variables. 